Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. William Ruto's government has made it official. They are importing 10 million bags of GMO maize. And that's a move that has already been rejected by the opposition. And in the recent days, there are also some elected leaders in Kenya Kwanzaa who have also come out boldly to reject that move. In this video, I want us to listen to some remarks by Samson Chiragei, Nandi Senator, for the remarks are going to form the basis of our analysis and discussion right now. Uh, waziri wa maswala ya uh, viwanda na biashara mambo Yes. The issue of GMO maize is something that has been widely discussed by Kenyans. Kenya's main concern on GMO is its effects on health, not even the economic effects Samson Chiragei is talking about. Let's remind ourselves of some remarks made by Moses Korea. We have so many things that can kill us in this country. Being in this country, you are a candidate for death. <laughs> and because there's so many things competing for death, there's nothing wrong with adding GMO to that list. <laughs> that is why we have deliberately decided to allow GMOs into this country. Those remarks by Moses Kuria are coded. Moses Kuria is indirectly sending a warning to Kenyans that GMO will kill you. So even Moses Kuria himself, from those remarks, he might not even believe in GMO himself. And today, Raila Odinga led his new team in castigating the government over its plans to import GMO maize. And in developed countries, their citizens are rejecting GMO <laughs> products. Yes, they are rejecting GMO products. While in Kenya, the government is forcing GMO on its people. What does those remarks by Samson Tiaragay mean? Let's dig deep. Yes. <clears throat> the remarks by Samson Tiaragay shows the state of confusion in William Ruto's government. A government not reading from the same page. It, it appears that William Ruto on this issue of GMO, he might have made a unilateral decision without consulting the elected leaders, more so in his Kenya Kwanzaa alliance. And I won't be wrong to state that maybe some cartels who wants to do business, to make money, have hijacked William Ruto and they are imposing their business interests on William Ruto. And that's unfortunately what William Ruto is doing. He has clearly been hijacked by some vested interest here. People who want to make money out of GMO importation. Ruto is no longer consulting the elected leaders. And then secondly, I'm seeing a William Ruto who is out of touch with the ground. He has become inaccessible. Power is slowly getting into his head. The mere fact that these elected leaders who are seen to be his staunch defenders are complaining in public is a confirmation. They cannot access William Ruto. Ruto is no longer accessible to them. They are now forced to come out and complain in public. 
So power is slowly getting into William Ruto's hands. During Uru Kenyatta's presidency, we used to see leaders complaining that Uhuru Kenyatta was not accessible. I'm seeing as time goes by, leaders might start blaming and complaining that William Ruto is inaccessible. Time is coming and we'll see that coming to pass. And I'm seeing karma just paying those who voted for William Ruto. Because in the 60 days, William Ruto has been in power. The people who have suffered more hmm, are those who voted for him. And I'm saying suffering more because in the 60 days, William Ruto has, be, has been in power. We have seen the mountain complaining more than any other region in Kenya. And now you are seeing Kalenjin Rift Valley are also now starting to complain. They are talking about the losses their farmers will actually go through. In the event, GMO maize is imported into the country. I'm seeing Fed just trying to pay back. Fed trying to teach these Kenyans that before they cast their votes, they must know on who they want to vote for. They should not just be voting based on their ethnic alliances and based on their emotions, their hatred for other leaders. Fate is just trying to teach these people a lesson. They are being paid for what they deserve. It's clear they are going to suffer more, or rather they are already suffering more than any other Kenyan in a William Rudolph's government. So Kenyans should come out of their ethnic kind of voting and look at a leader's ability to deliver. Not ethnic persuasions, not maybe some hatred for other leaders. That's also something I'm seeing here, ladies and gentlemen. As I conclude, I'm also seeing a very high possibility where William Ruto, Ruto's team this leader supporting William Ruto, they are also hypocritical. I will be very reluctant to take Cheragay's word seriously because I know Cheragay, he might not even be talking on behalf of the so-called Rift Valley farmers. Cheragay here might be having his own intention and interests for coming out to say that maybe he might not be among the team <laughs> or rather in the list of those who have been maybe accredited to import that GMO maize into the country. So you want to be part, most likely, of those who might import that maize into the country. Because personally, a good number of these leaders, I don't believe, they have the best interest of the people they lead at heart. They are just there for their own selfish personal gains. I won't take Samson Chiragi's word seriously because if he was serious, they ought by now to be calling for the impeachment of William Ruto. But it's clear that even if the government will import that GMO maize, Samson Chiragi will still be supporting William Ruto. And this should also be a warning to William Ruto because we saw the mountain ganging up to reject William Ruto's nominee for Yala Slot. And now we are seeing a simmering kind of a rebellion in the college in Rift Valley. William Ruto should be very, very careful not to lose the support of also these leaders. Because if he does, then that will also be, be very de detrimental for his role as the president. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you, God bless Kenya. Any other person who wants to support our channel, as always, 
I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to channel your support to the number. Let's meet in our next analysis.